Hello everybody. This is Veda, my husband's Jerry, and we've decided it's time for us to part with our 40-foot motor sailor made by Jim Shucker. Back in 1977, we've owned her for over 30 years and loved every minute. She would make a great liveaboard for someone located in Port Ritchie, Florida. Okay, I'm going to be walking in. And like I said, I apologize. This is my first video. I hope nobody gets seasick watching this. But we're on a boat, so you can be seasick. This is a hair salon chair my husband uses to steer the boat from because it's hydraulic, it can pump up. And when he wants to eat dinner, he just pumps it down and turns it toward the table. Jerry built this chaise for us so we could have lots of storage. This area here flips up and becomes a double bed, legs drop down. And there's a couch on the cushion that fits right here to make this a double bed for guests. On the bottom is room for 12 ounce cans if you want to take a lot of beer someplace or it's also good for other kinds of storage, folding chairs, etc. We kept all of our dive equipment underneath the fold, the fold up part of the bed because there's three big compartments and also allowed for us to have four big drawers at the end and that's where all the tools and greasy things are. Nav station with storage underneath, your chart table. When you're at the helm, we have always used the original Ben Maher autopilot and it has served us well. We've been in some tropical storms coming back from the Bahamas and the boat did better than we did. There's GPS. We have a windlass. Here's the heating switch and the kill switch. As we're going down below, you see there's the circuit panel. The bilge is below. Battery meter. And down to the galley. Three nice drawers storage under the sink, dry sink storage for your dry goods, an Adler Barber freezer, which we don't use too often, but if we're going on a long trip, we fire it up and fill it with frozen food, keep adding ice, and when you don't have it on, and you can start, store a lot more food. Also, a regular Norco refrigerator for regular use. We have a closet in this boat, which most sailboats do not have. Lots of storage. And this is where the air conditioning unit was installed. So we use some of the closet for that, but we still have quite a bit of closet left. Under these steps, they come away and that's how you get into the engine compartment. And you don't have to crawl around too much, crouch, but you can work on your engine pretty easily in this boat. Not like a lot of sailboats where you have to be a contortionist. There's a dresser, storage on each end of the couch. And as I said, one of these couch cushions, I can't remember which one, fits up on the flip up there to make it a double bed. Storage behind the couch. And here's the bed my husband installed over the old fiberglass dinette. You can see the edge of it here. There's lots of storage under that. Long time and then longer time storage because if you lift up the plywood that the bed mattress is on, there's storage and then if you lift that up, there's more storage in the actual dinette seats from when it was a dinette. More storage under the bed. And of course I need a little step to get into the bed. But the nice th thing about the bed 
is you can lay in the bed and look out the window and see if you're dragging anchor because sometimes you need to know that. And we've got storage beside the bed and a little fan. But the hatch here, when it's open and you're at anchor, brings so much air in you won't be needing the fan. It's really nice and cool at anchor. A little bookcase. And in the head, you actually can shower without sitting on the toilet. So the shower has a little seat in it over there. So you can sit, if it's rough seas, you can sit while you're showering. And of course it has a handheld faucet. Storage behind the toilet for towels or whatever. Macerating toilet. There's a little button on the wall. And more storage. This is where we keep drugs and beauty products. And storage under the sink for your first aid kit and your extra toilet paper, etc. Headroom in this boat is like 6'3". So it, it's pretty good for, for most people. Back up into the pilot house. I never thought I'd like a pilot house on a sailboat because we always had open cockpits. But when I saw my friends out in the terrible weather and I was inside the cockpit sailing along, I said, this is nice. I can do this. So we eat here. I just have a little plastic chair. I'm sure you might jazz it up. And there's a little storage bench here for more seating at the end. And happy hour takes place out here. On the rear deck, we have a covering over half of it. So you can stay out of the rain a little bit. And of course, you've got your lazarette back here for bumpers, grill, all those things. And the swim platform, there's a little step here, uh, stainless steel step, you step on that, step down to the platform and then unfold the ladder and in you go. Enjoy the water. I don't know if I've forgotten anything, but I probably have. Please give us a call at 727-809 nine nine two nine that's seven two seven eight zero nine 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 two nine talk to jerry and the price that we're asking is fifty four nine we've loved this boat hate to part with it but we're in our 70s now and it's we just don't use it enough so we want someone else to have the adventures that we had in this boat the name of the boat is free spirit thank you for watching